All right, we got Xiao Wei Lu today with uh, S Crypt out here in San Francisco Bay Area. This is Gavin Mail, and we're going to go through some of the que some of the technical questions about Bitcoin right now, and talk a little bit about S Crypt. So, Xiao Wei, how you doing? Pretty good, good, uh, good weather to be to be in right now. Now, I know a lot of places that there's snow and cold and freezing. We are in, you know, sixties. So this is good. Well, it looks like you're in a t-shirt and, you know, yeah. sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. In good weather, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a call uh, the other day with some guys on Twitter, Bose, and, you know, okay. script came up about the, I, I, and I was super confused about some of the technical questions. And they were talking about the transpiler, which I remember in Dubai, but then they talked about Script on Bitcoin, BTC, and I, I wanted to find out what what's the latest and greatest from Script exactly. What what is what is going on? Maybe I think you can uh, start with what is Script first of all. Yeah, Script you can think about is a developer platform that can you know help developers to you know build apps on all the Bitcoin you know chains faster and cheaper and more efficient. We provide you know all the developer tools like. You know, programming language, developer tools, toolings, and uh, also API and the services. So you don't have to know anything about the Bitcoin node and everything. You just program it like program Bitcoin apps, like you are programming, you know, so-called uh, Web2 apps. So I think here there are two concepts. I think there's a, people may be confusing uh, with one with the other. One is the concept of transpiler. I think we released it, I think it's, uh, is it two years ago? I think it's two years ago. In Dubai. Uh, in, in Dubai. So that's to help developers on the uh, Ethereum world, you know, uh, migrate to Bitcoin world. They basically translate the Ethereum code, which is usually in Solidity, back into S script in the Bitcoin programming language. Okay. I think of what the recent thing, which is different, is S script the whole framework, the tool chain, the tech stack works on BTC. I think that's a that's a separate issue. Is it is a separate tool? Okay. So for the longest time we're working on well only working on the Bitcoin SV. But recently we kind of like ported over to Bitcoin Core, which is a lot of people call the, the Bitcoin. And because fundamentally on the tech stack is is uh, they're all derived from the original Bitcoin, right? The different different forks. So they share a lot of, you know, they share more things in common than people usually, you know, know. As a, you know, UTX model, Bitcoin script. So that's why it's very similar. And we just put out uh, tools to work on BTC for the first time ever. So, you know, what what can BTC developers do now on BTC with the S script tools so they can you know, they, yeah for example they can now for the first time developers you know so-called smart contracts on BTC you know before you can do it in theory but you have to program in this very low level you know esoteric language called become script which I don't know maybe 10 people in the world know how to do it you know not everybody but now, since we have this high-level abstraction called S script, everybody who knows, you know, Web to JavaScript, they can come here and program it in JavaScript. So, you are bringing, you know, tens of millions of Web to developers. They have the potential to enter the BTC land to build smart contract for them, on top of BTC. But the, the caveat is, because B, BTC is very crippled, you know, this the so-called disabled a lot of the you know, script capability. So it's going to be much more limited what kind of smart counter can be built on, on there compared to what uh, Bitcoin SV. The thing oh. about it is a, as a, like a limited version, very constrained version of what uh, Bitcoin SV smart counter offers. That's great. Wise. So let's say I want to build a smart contract on BTC now. Uh, what what would an example be of a, of a good, of something that a BTC developer could what might want to build right now or or that it maybe it's something they're building in ethereum or so what would be a yeah for example you can have uh let's say you know ordinals right 
You heard about Arduino on BTC, right? So instead of just put Arduino and send it to somebody's address, right? And then you can spend with your private key by signing. Then you can put it in a contract, right? For example, the contract can be, let's say, atomic swap contract. You know, you should call the hash hash lock time contract. You know, you can put it put in a atomic swap. So let's say you want to buy somebody's let's say Arduino with your BTC. You know, right now it's it's kind of like uh, sophisticated. You can do it in using you know some other tech they call it the partially signed Bitcoin transaction. But with this, you can put a lock up in a contract. That you both lock one locks Arduino's in a contract, the other lock BTC, so that they can only atomically swap trade. Nobody can cheat, you know. That's just one use case, you know. And yeah, because it uh, can be absolutely combined with Bitcoin, native Bitcoins, and Arduino's, you can have all kind of uh, you know, use cases that's previously impossible. For uh, for example, this atomic swap trading. So sounds like some atomic swap trading, and ordinals on BTC are some of the new features that can happen now, and just overall smart contract development is now being deployed. Yes, in 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 fully in BTC. So this is something that the BTC guys can completely get into right now and start using. Yeah. And, How do they uh, do that? Go to the where, where do they go? Oh, they just you know it's a library, so they can just download and. Uh you know, use it as any other JavaScript library they use. Right they from the website? And, uh, they can go to sscript.io. They, you know, they, we have a, we have a blog, the latest one. I think I've also pinned it on my Twitter profile. You can check it out. There's a live demo code and uh, instructions on how do you start playing with this, the library. Okay. All right. So sscript.io. Yeah. And also to, the Medium blog. Yes. All right. And then on, uh, and then also, um, I saw you were over in China uh, recently. What, what was going on over there? What yeah, it's kind of like a combination of uh, so work, workcation. I would say it's kind of partially work, but partly also, you know, go there and uh, uh, take a break. So I was there, I think, you know, a lot, lot of developers, they are very interested in what we are doing. So we hold this, uh, and like a workshop for two days in a beautiful island. You know, it's the southernmost uh, city in China called Sanya. It's like Miami or Hawaii. I think it's Hawaii. Yeah, it's a tropical island that's like, uh, you know, 90 degrees, you know, Fahrenheit over there. So it's very tropical. You know, people go there just to, you know, get away from the cold regions. You know, a lot of people, I think we have about 30 developers. We can go over, over there. You know, some, some people work on the Bitcoin SV. You know, some people are working on the BTC, but, uh, you know, I think we all get to learn each other, you know. And uh, they're also, you know, passionate to use S script in their product, even if it's not on Bitcoin SV. So it's overall, it's very good. You know, weather is perfect over there. and. Uh, you got uh, you can work and also you know do conference next to the beach and it's it's like uh, Miami weather so it's perfect. Speaking of conference, are you planning on going to the uh, next conference coming up in London? Yeah, of course. That's uh, that's almost uh, like an annual tradition. I always go wherever the government lets me go. So hopefully there's no restriction this time. So nice. Yeah, let's all go. Yeah. That's gonna be May. I think it's May. End of May, I think. End of yeah. May. All right. So uh sounds like some new release from Xscript, which is uh, now the smart contracts are on BTC now, which is a sounds like a really big deal. And then not only uh and then on BSV, Ethereum developers can can program Ethereum con smart contracts with one line of code now, or well, bef as before, with with uh with uh Xscript as well. Is that right? Yeah, I think that a transpiler can also help to migrate if you feel from the Ethereum world. Yeah. So if you're an Ethereum developer, you can use the transpiler also on scrip.io and that will basically 
through a line of code you can use your contracts on BSV. Yeah, that's uh, it's not a coding tool. It's uh, the GUI. That's a UI. You can pretty much copy paste your solid code, and then with one click of button, you can translate to S script and into the Bitcoin land. What if you still want to use Ethereum tokens? Can you still use those? I think for that you have to you have to kind of do the easiest way would do the, like a one to one mapping. So for example, you have one. I don't know what what's the hottest token there. Let's say you have one PayPay token. Then you can, you know, map it. Whoever owns one PayPay token at this address, you can have the same on Bitcoin S3. I think that's the easiest way to migrate. Would 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 this reduce the fees on the gas fees for Ethereum? Yeah, of course. That's one of the biggest advantage, right? We have you don't have ten dollar fee just to buy some uh, crypto kitty. You can it's virtually free. So let me ask you this. I, I had to send a a guy overseas tether, fifty dollars in US tether on Ethereum like last week. And I had to buy it. It was about four dollars in credit card fees, then another eight dollars in gas fees. So wow. I paid sixty-two dollars to send fifty. I mean, <laughs> unfortunately, that was the only way I knew how to do it. So, is there could there be a better way uh, in the future, or does that exist now? I mean, what yeah, for that to work, you unfortunately you need some kind of like a USD stable coin on big on BSV. I know some people are working on it, and uh, the closest thing we have is, uh, you know, Bernard, you know, Santi. They have the, you know, and Swiss Swiss franc. Frank. Yeah, but I don't know any. Nobody doing USD. that yet. Yeah, yet. Sounds like it's a hard. Is it too hard of a project, or is it more of just a, a regular regulatory thing? Yeah, I think you are probably right. It's not technically, I think that's. Uh, that's the most challenging part. It's probably the regulatory aspect of things. Got it. Okay. So, but it sounds like that still could be a ways out, but ultimately the, the code and the tech side is there for the yes. develop. The tech yeah, side today. is there. It's a matter of, of putting, you know, putting the right team behind it. So, all right, well, this is great, man. So how can people, how can people find you and find out more about s -Crypt? Yeah, just go to our website, sscript.io. So you can find everything about us. Yeah, go follow us on all the social media, and uh, subscribe to our blog, which we put regular updates off there. And if you have any questions, we have Slack, Discord, and everything Telegram you can think of. Nice, and you're on Twitter as well, right? Yes. All right. Well, uh, let's. Uh, would you be against doing another another? video like this in the future kind of a recap and you know on any other updates yeah sure happy to today all right let's do it thank you shall we? i'll go ahead and see you at the top all right man see you at the top